that's always been something that's very important to me is portraying um, characters that young people and especially young girls can look at and look up to and relate to and see as a friend. And, um, and so I, I do think all the characters that I've played on Disney um, share those characteristics. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Pop Culture Planet, a video podcast centered around diverse voices and representation in Hollywood. I'm your host, Kristen Maldonado, TV film critic, content creator, and champion for inclusion. Today we're talking all about Doogie Kama Aloha MD, which is the new Disney Plus remake of Doogie Howser. We're going to be speaking with Courtney Kang, the creator of the show, as well as Peyton Elizabeth Lee, who stars as our new Doogie. This story is focused on a 16-year-old girl from Hawaii who is a prodigy and doctor, and how she balances that life with her life as a teenage girl. Enjoy the conversation. What inspired you to, you know, basically reboot uh, Doogie Howser for a whole new generation? I grew up watching the show. I was always a big fan of it. And, you know, when I grew up, there wasn't a lot of families on TV that looked like mine. And so creating a show that was inspired by my family is something that I've always wanted to do. And so this show is sort of a perfect storm of things. It's been such a pleasure to take something that is so beloved and meant so much to me growing up and then almost insert myself into it and rewrite it into the most into the show that I would have most wanted to see growing up. And so that's why the, you know, my family, I was born in Hawaii. The show is set in Hawaii. We have a mixed race family, which is very much like mine. And so it's been really wonderful to make this show. And the thing that gets me really excited is I'm a mom, I have three girls, and I love that this is the doogie that my daughters will know, that she's a girl, that she's from this mixed race family. And to me, it just is really exciting to make a show that shows a group of folks that don't always get to be seen on such a platform like Disney Plus. You know, this is something that I'm excited that it's just another different kind of family for the world to see. And so it's really exciting. Absolutely. And you know, what was it like to find your doogie? Finding our doogie was amazing. We were so lucky to have Peyton. You know, she sort of came into the came into the conversation. And from the moment we, you know, first started talking with her, she's so lovely, so smart, uh, just such a pro. And, you know, she carries this whole series on her shoulders and brings so much to it. You know, one of the things about this character is she's so aspirational. She's 16. She's a genius. You know, she's She's pretty, she's nice, she's all of these things. And yet she's also so vulnerable. You know, she wants to fit in, she wants to experience love and she has to hit so many notes. And Peyton as an actress is able to play all of them. And she really brings the character to life and makes it her own. You know, we've all seen the show or the movie where there's a charismatic, beautiful, you know, 16 year teenage girl at the center of it. Who's like, whoa, is me. And you're like, you're fine. (laughs) And what's great about Peyton is you care about her. You want to be her. And yet when she's feeling down, you feel for her as well. And so she's kind of the key to the whole thing. Were you familiar with Doogie Howser? And what is it like jumping into this, you know, new role as basically a doctor prodigy? The show was on Um, a while before I was born. So I wasn't personally familiar with it. But I remember when I got the audition, my parents were very excited about it. Um, And so right when I got the audition, I sat down and started watching the show. Um, I think it's been so fun to sort of have this foundation that Doogie Howser built to sort of build upon, you know, there's this iconic show, this very dedicated and vast fan base. And we've sort of been able to take that and hopefully harness it and 
and sort of keep the spirit of the show, but bring it into the world we live in today to hopefully satisfy those original fans and also bring in a new demographic of people. I was curious if, if you feel like any of your past work, like How I Met Your Mother or Fresh Off the Boat, kind of influenced the show in any way. I do. You know, I think to me, this is sort of a great combination of both. You know, How I Met Your Mother was very romantic at its core, you know, a father telling the story of how he found their mother in his quest for love. And Fresh Off the Boat was a great show to work on because it was a chance to tell a story about a family that the world was not used to seeing on TV. And I think Doogie has a lot of elements of both those things. The show is very romantic the show has a lot of love to it and, you know, finding love and with mom and dad keeping that love going. And then we're also telling a story about some folks that you don't usually see on TV. And so I think both shows sort of oddly led me to this moment. I love that this is a show that really focuses on the Hawaiian, Pacific Islander, Asian American experience, um, because I don't think that we get enough of those and it's always great to see more. So what do you kind of hope that, you know, young people are able to take away from the show? And I think representation is so important. I know for me, when I see people that look like me or that I relate to on screen, there's this feeling of empowerment that, that I, experience. And um, hopefully through playing this character, I'm able to, and the show is able to sort of inspire that feeling in other people. Um, so it was definitely very important for me and um, very exciting um, for me to be a part of this show in that capacity. Growing up, was there anyone or any show that you know, felt like it represented you and that kind of encouraged you to get into this field? I don't know if there was a show or character that encouraged me to start acting per se, but I definitely had this epiphany when I watched Crazy Rich Asians and seeing an Asian girl in a leading role and as a romantic lead um, and sort of, and sort of saying, oh, that that's possible. And that's, that can be a thing and Asian people don't have to just be the sidekick, you know? So I think um, that was a big moment for me in terms of seeing representation on screen and how it sort of can affect an audience. I mean, I think you definitely have influenced so many young people, you know, on Disney with, you know, I'm sure with this role that's coming up with Andy Mack, with, um, you know, your role in uh, Secret Society of Second Born Royals. Um, so, you know, kudos to you for that, for just, you know, being that representation for young people. Um, but do you think that, you know, or I'm curious, how do you think, you know, maybe Andy and Sam would do in Dookie's world? Ooh, that's a great question. Honestly, I think they would all be friends. I think they are they are all have very strong personalities. They are all very unique and see uniqueness as a strength and as an asset. Um, and that's always been something that's very important to me is portraying um, characters that young people and especially young girls can look at and look up to and relate to and see as a friend. And, um, and so I, I do think all the characters that I've played on Disney, um, share those characteristics. And so I think, I think they would be friends. Gina Rodriguez, I got a chance to speak to her while she was doing a wake press and she was like, I'm in Hawaii. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm filming Doogie. I'm directing an episode. So can you tell us a little bit about that? And maybe, you know, what episodes, you know, you have other people working on and things like that. Yes. Uh, I adore Gina. She's fantastic. I, um, we had so much fun. She came out and directed an episode for us and you know, I knew that she would be great with actors because she is an actor, but she is also so great at telling a story visually and it brought so much to the show as a director. I was completely blown away by first her as a person because she is just a force, as you know. Um, and then as her as a director, she was absolutely amazing. We also had Randall Park come and he directed an episode and also appears in two episodes acting. Um, we were very, very fortunate to, we have a, an amazing crew of directors and 
guest cast. We had Max Greenfield come and it was super exciting. A Everyone was giant fans of New Girl and everybody was like fangirling out on Max when he showed up. We had Margaret Cho come do an episode, which was really special to me. You know, I remember when All American Girl, her series came out and I was in high school at the time. And it really meant so much to me to see that show. And I really feel like she paved the way for all of us, for Fresh Off the Boat, for this Doogie show. And so it was really special to have her come do an episode. Um, we have Al Harrington, who was on the original Hawaii Five-0. He is a Hawaiian entertainer, singer, actor. Um, and he's someone as well who has been in this business for so long at a time when there really weren't as many parts as there should have been for a guy like him. And so it was really special to have him come be on the show. He plays Uncle John, who's sort of the patriarch of the family based on the patriarch of my family, my Uncle John. Uh, and so it was really wonderful to have such an amazing group of folks come out and help us make this show. You know, one of the things I love about working on a TV show is it's a total team sport. Like you can't do it alone. You need everyone's talents working as hard as they can together. And then you make something bigger than any of you could ever do on your own. And so the folks that we got to come do this with us uh, really elevated it all. You know, Jake Kasdan, who directed Jumanji, he came and directed the pilot. And, you know, he's a producer on the show and a partner with us. And we've had such an am amazing talent come and do this. And I think you see it on the screen. You feel, you feel the show, you know, we wanted it to be special. We wanted it to be a family show elevated and, you know, make something bigger than what a usual TV show is. And, I think, you know, that was the goal and hopefully folks will feel like we did it. That's so amazing. You can really just tell how much of yourself you've put into the show. And finally, you know, there's so many great people that have come onto the show in general. I mean, Courtney Kang is incredible. Um, you know, people that have come into direct and make cameo appearances like, you know, Rodriguez and Randall Park. Um, was there anything new that you learned working on this show? I mean, I think every project I work on, I learn a ton. Um, but I think because of, you know, Courtney and Melvin Marr, our producer, and, you know, obviously all of the incredible people that came on to to direct and to guest star um it was just really cool for me I mean a lot of them knew each other prior to our show and it really reminded me and sort of made me realize that what I want to do is find people that I just genuinely like and enjoy and think are talented and like working with and you know continue to do that um, on future projects. So I think that's definitely something I learned from our creative team on this show. If you guys like this one, you can check out more Pop Culture Planet right over here or on your favorite podcast listening platforms. See ya.